Steve, just to recap on the session the other day, uh, first of all, looking at the setup, much improved posture at a dress, looking much taller, uh, much more athletic. You can see there a little bit of flex in the knees, nowhere near as hunched over the ball as you were previously. Also, a much better flow of the lines in regards to the relationship between your shaft and left arm at setup. You can see the the similarities if I draw the lines on Paul Casey's setup uh, to your own setup. So much, much better setup position in relation to what we worked on in your previous session. There is, however, if we have a little look at this footage from down the line, still a tendency to come out of the posture as you make your backswing. You can see there that your spine angle is much more erect at the top of your backswing than it was at the setup position. Obviously from there we need to regain the spine angle that we had at address. So there's an element of up and down as you're coming into impact. And that relies a lot on timing. Although you are hitting the ball much more consistently than when we first saw you. You see whenever a player's spine angle straightens, the arms work left through the golf ball. So, you know, similar, uh, much improvement, uh, some good similarities when compared to better players, uh, but still room for work there. So we spend a little bit of time now looking at the bulk of the lesson where we're discussing your weight shift. And the main reason for your movement up during your takeaway now is because of the way you pivot. If we look at that setup from a decent setup position, if I just illustrate this with a triangle running down from your sternum to your feet, and I do the same with Paul Casey. What we're going to see with yourself is a tendency to stay on top of that triangle too much during your backswing. So you can see there that there's no movement off the golf ball. We tend to sit on top of that triangle a little bit too much. If we contrast that to what we're seeing with Paul Casey as he makes the move away from the ball, you can see the chest moves behind that triangle more completely different body position as he gets into the top of the backswing from the he can transfer his weight towards his target whilst staying behind the golf ball you see that move back into the triangle whilst still staying behind the golf ball with yourself because you're on top of it too much you're going to get way ahead of it early on in the downswing and then have to back up as you come into the golf ball to just allow the club to catch back up with the body. So we're getting a little bit too much on top of it at the top of your backswing. Key thought for you, Steve, is to move behind the golf ball as you make your backswing. And you can see there again, if I just pull, pull Paul Casey back to the top of the backswing, much more behind the golf ball as opposed to being on top of the golf ball. So simple things to work on, but they're going to have a profound effect on the flight of your golf ball. Good luck, and if you need to speak more, just give me a call.